Hey everybody, this Algebra 2 lesson is called Sequences and Series. So it's the beginning of chapter 12, our last chapter, I think. I thought I had this lesson up already and I just found out that I didn't. So I have these things called board problems, so if you're not in my class, you don't know what this is. So evaluate uh, this uh, function right here, x squared plus 3, or this expression, I guess, for x equals 1. So 1 squared is 1 plus 3 is 4, and then plug in 2. 2 squared is 4 plus 3 is 7. I'm in between classes right now, so 3 squared is, uh, my prep's coming up, so you're going to hear some bells, a couple more bells. So 3 squared is 9, plus 3 is 14, and then finally 4 squared plus 9 is 19, okay? So, and then this one here, it says plug in 1, 2, and 3 into this one. 1 cubed plus 2, 2 cubed plus 2, and 3 cubed plus 2. Okay, 3 cubed is 27, 27 plus 2 is 29. Okay, so you get those numbers right there. I hope that makes sense, you guys. Okay, so here's sequences and series. A sequence is a, is a function uh, where the input is your domain uh, and they're consecutive integers and, and usually they start at 1. Sometimes they don't, but unless otherwise stated, um, uh, they start at 1. And so your input is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 until they ask you to stop or sometimes it tells you to go to infinity, okay? And then the values uh, in the range, your output uh, numbers, are called your terms of the sequence. And you're thinking, what? Well, this is what this means, you guys. Write the first five terms. So remember, our input is n equals 1, n equals 2, n equals 3, 4, up to this number, 5. So, so when we plug in uh, n equal 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, we just multiply 5 times the n's and then subtract 1. And so here's our first five terms, 4, 9, 14, 19, and 24, okay? Remember, the inputs are these numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay? So we're going to put in the inputs f of 1, f of 2, f of 3, f of 4, f of 5. So it's 2 to the 1 minus 3, 2 to the 2 minus 3, all the way to 2 to the 5 minus 3, okay? So uh, 2 to the 5th is 32, 32 minus 3 is 29. So here's here are the first five terms of this uh, uh, expression, actually this equation right here, okay? All right, so that's what we're doing in this. So describe the pattern and then write the next term, okay? And then try to write a rule for the nth term. Okay, so here, check this out. This goes from 2 to 5 to 10 to 17. And if you don't see a pattern, I'll tell you. This pattern is going up plus 3, plus 5 plus 7. So it would go up plus 9. It goes up consecutive odd numbers. And so what, what the pattern is, is you square the number and then add 1. Okay, so, so here is 1 squared plus 1. Here's 2 squared plus 1. 3 squared is 9 plus 1. There's 4 squared plus 1. 5 squared plus 1 is, is 26. And how do you know that, you guys? Well, if it goes in this pattern, 3, 5, 9, by consecutive odds, it's somehow related to n squared. It might be n squared plus 1 or n squared minus 1. Here it's n squared plus 1 or n squared minus 2. It might be n squared. Okay, they will always check out this, you guys. 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9. Those go up by uh, 3, 5, plus 7, plus 9. They go up by consecutive odds. All right, check this one out, you guys. Negative 4, negative 8, negative 12, negative 16. Now, there's a couple of ways to think of this, but we got to write an nth rule, you guys. So the pattern is just negative 4 times my number. Here, Remember, it starts with 1. Here's my first term, my second term. Here's my third term. So it's negative 4 times 1, negative 4 times 2, negative 4 times 3, negative 4 times 4, negative 4 times 5. My student teacher's coming in, so we might be talking here for just a second. And then uh, this next one here, you guys, it's going up plus 4. I'm sorry, plus 2, plus 4, plus 6. So can you see that pattern right there? Okay, when it happens in that, it follows the pattern n minus 1 times n, which is n squared minus n, you guys. It's kind of hard to see, but just uh, just playing around uh, and guessing and, and checking on this. So here's you can think of, uh, here's our first term right here. So n minus 1 is 0 times 1 is 0. Okay, here's our second term. Thank you. Uh, our second term is uh, where n equals 2. Here's 2 minus 1. Here's n equals 3. Here's 3 minus 1. So just you just start playing around with this. You start getting comfortable like that. But when it goes up by consecutive evens, it usually follows the pattern n squared minus n or sometimes n squared plus n. 
Okay, so uh, they're going up by consecutive evens, and you just got to play around with it. So this is the number before it, and this is the number. So my first term and my zero term. And then this is my second term and my and n equals one. Here's n equals uh, three and and uh, three minus one. Here's n equals four and four minus one. So it's the pattern is n minus one times n. So our nth term is going to be this says right here my nth term right here is going to be n minus one times n. Okay, or n squared minus n because we distributed that through. Okay, you'll get the hang of it, you guys. All right, so um, uh, we are a block uh, schedule right now. We're doing state testing, so ignore this right here. This is if we did not do block, I would stop right there, but I have a two-hour window with my students, so we're going to keep going. So a series, you guys, is the sum of the terms in the sequence. So here's a series right here. So I'm just taking this sequence. A sequence is, has commas in between them. A series has pluses in between them. So when you see the word series, you are adding things right here. So this is a finite series. This is an infinite series because of the dot, dot, dot. So if it ends, it's finite. If it goes on forever, it's infinite, okay? So we can use this um, summation notation, and the summation notation is tilt your head sideways, and you'll see a capital M, and it just means we're summing some numbers up. It's a summation symbol. Okay, and uh, so here, this is the sum from uh, uh, the multiples of 2. This is 2 times 1, 2 times 2, 2 times 3, 2 times 4. So from 2i, and you can choose any letter you want. Textbooks like using i's a lot. Sometimes they use n's or j's, but you can use any letter you want. H's or, you know, you're comfortable with x's, but I bet your textbook will either use I or N or J on these guys, okay? But it doesn't matter, you guys. So here's the sum of 2 times 1. So here's 2 times 1, 2 times 2, 2 times 3, 2 times 4. This summation symbol right here means put pluses in between them. You can add them up, you guys, but uh, that's all they want you to write it as the summation right there, okay? This one goes dot, 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 so the top number is infinity. This top number is 4 because there are 1, 2, 3, 4 terms right there, okay? All right. And then, uh, so let's write the series using sigma notation, that funny looking sideways M, okay? 1 plus 8 plus uh, 27 plus 64 plus dot, dot, dot plus 729. And if you don't recognize these numbers, well, let's see. Uh, they're not adding the same. Uh, this is plus 7. All of a sudden it goes plus 19 and, and you know, it, nothing happens there. But another pattern is this is 1 cubed. This is 2 cubed. 2 cubed is 8. 3 cubed is 27. There's 4 cubed. You just got to figure out what is that. That one is 9 cubed, okay? So that'll tell me it's going to be uh, n cubed or i cubed. So use your summation formula right there. And I chose i, and your bottom number has to be where we started. i equals 1. 1 cubed, and your top number is this last number, cubed. Okay, so, so this summation notation right here represents this sum of numbers right there. Okay, let's try another one. All right, so 1 plus a half plus a fourth plus an eighth. Okay, so um, this is, uh, I'll show you right here, you guys. This is, can you see this is uh, the, the denominator, our powers of twos? This one's kind of hard to see right here. This is actually 1 over 2 to the 0 power. Remember, anything to the 0 power equals 1. And it's hidden inside of there. My 1 over 2 to the 0 is hidden right there. There's 2 to the first. There's 2 squared. There's 2 cubed. But on 2 cubed right there, 1 over 2 cubed anyways, this is my fourth term. On 2 squared, this is my third term. Here's the first term, second term, third term, fourth term. So on this fourth term, it gave me 1 over 2 cubed. So the pattern is uh, 1 over uh, 2 to the i minus 1 power. So here on 2 cubed, it was my fourth power. So 2 to the 4 minus 1 is cubed. So 1 over 2 cubed. Okay, so i equals 1 all the way up to the last number. Well, this goes up to infinity because of the dot, dot, dot. Okay, the top number is pretty easy. Okay, this, this top number, it stopped. So you had to figure out what number cubed gave me that right here. This is 1 cubed, so I knew it started at i equal 1. Okay, 
And if we start at i equal 1 right here, this is going to be, um, uh, and you just recognize the powers of 2's downstairs, okay? All right, so find the sum of each series. Okay, so we got these summations. This time it starts at k equals 4, not k equal 1. So we're going to plug in k equal 4, and then summation means we're going to have a plus sign. So we're going to go 3 plus k, uh, uh, 4 squared, and then plus... 3 plus the next number from here. We're going up to here. So 5 squared plus 3 plus 6 squared plus 3 plus 7 squared plus 3 plus 8 squared. Okay, and it said find the sum. So we're going to go ahead and do 3 plus 4 squared. Is, uh, we've got to do the exponent first. 4 squared is 16 plus 3 is 19. 5 squared is 25 plus 3. 36 plus 3. 49 plus 3 and so on. So those all add up to 205. We'll show you some shortcut formulas here in just a second. Okay, so this one says start uh, at i equals 3 and go up to i equal 4 and then i equal 5. So there's going to be three terms here. So we're going to go 3 times 3 squared and then minus 7 and then 3 times 4 squared minus 7. Put plus signs in between them because of this summation symbol right there, okay? And then you go, so this is going to be 3 times 3 squared minus 7, 3 times 4 squared minus 7, and then 3 times 5 squared minus 7. And I'm going to let you figure that out. You get 129 when you add all those, okay? All right, so formulas for special series, okay? So, so if you get to uh, run into where it's just a number, that K stands for constant, you guys, okay? Now, this does not mean K sub N. Please do not think of this as a function right here. This means K times N. I should have done a multiplication like a dot or something right there not used parentheses so I don't have time to change it right now so this just means whatever this number is times this number okay well, if that's a constant number like uh, I have an example right here seven okay so the sum of k equals one all the way up to four of seven that just means seven plus seven plus seven plus seven plus and you just I'm sorry I shouldn't have that plus sign right there so um, there's four of them because we went up to four right there well seven plus seven plus seven plus seven is just seven times four which is 28 if this is a constant number you're just adding that number that many times right there okay all right so the next formula you guys and then disregard that plus sign right there I didn't catch that until now all right, if it's just a, a variable, you guys, now k is a constant. That's a constant right there. i is a variable. So if we're going from i equal 1 up to n, then it's going to be n times n plus 1 over 2. Okay, so if it's i, i, okay, if it's i, if it's i squared, this is the formula. And you're going to probably ask, where are we getting these formulas? I don't want to show you. I don't have enough time. I'd lose all of you guys in that. Just trust me. These are the formulas. n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 all over 6. And then one more, if it's cubed, you guys. Whoops, I guess not. I guess we're not doing the cubed one. Okay, that's later. All right, so find the sum, you guys. So look, you guys, here we have 8i. So I'm going to float this 8 out over here. So I think I did that here in this lesson. Yeah, I did. Okay, so now we're going to do, it's going to be 8 times my i formula. My i formula is n times n plus 1 over 2. Here, n is 5. So it's going to be 8 times, and then it's going to be, we're going to plug in 5 right here, 5 plus 1 is 6, all over 2. And don't forget, it's 8 times that, okay? So when we do that, there's the 8, there's the n, which is this right here. My n is my top number. Here's n plus 1, and then when you crank it all out, you should get 120. All right, try this guy. Okay, this is a k squared formula, so we're going to be using this guy right here. Okay, so it's going to be the summation from k equals 3 to 7. Okay, on this one, you guys, since it doesn't start at 1, these guys start at 1 right here. This should be from 1 to n, you guys. Sorry, I don't have that. Did I put that over here? Let me see. Uh, it should go from i equal 1 to n. I'll fix that in my lesson in my class, okay? So if it doesn't start at 1, you guys, then you just got to plug in 3 squared uh, minus 1 plus 4 squared minus 1 plus 5 squared minus 1 plus all the way up to 7 squared minus 1. So here's 3 squared minus 1. Here's 4 squared minus 1. Here's 5 squared minus 1. 6 squared minus 1. 7 squared minus 1. You start at this one and all the way up to this one. These formulas only work if we start at 1. Okay, and those add up to 130 right there. Almost done, you guys. Okay, all right, you guys. So this is a constant right here. This is going to be this formula right here where k is this 1 and n is the top number. So it's just 1 times 34. 
It's 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, 34 times, or 1 times 34 is 34. Okay, so here we go. This is just n, you guys. So n equals 1 to, to 6 right there. Okay, so that's going to be this guy right here. So we're going to plug that in. And so it's uh, n equals, uh, this is going to be my n equals 6. Here's my n plus 1. And we go up to this number. Now remember, this could be any letter. It could be j, k, you know, p, q, or n in this case right here, but since it's just n or just i, you use this formula right here, okay? So this number goes right here, this number plus 1 over 2. That's what this formula is, okay? If it's something squared, we use this formula, okay? Remember, this starts at 1 and goes up to n right there, okay? All right, so here we go. We're going to use the n squared one. So that's this guy right here. So my n is 20, so it's going to be 20. 20 plus 1, and then 2 times 20 plus 1, all over 6. Okay, so there it is right there. All right, so there's 20, there's 20 plus 1, 2 times 20 um, uh, plus that 1 right there. Okay, so we get, um, uh, did I make a mistake on that, Mr. Marshall? Should that be a 41? 2 times 20? Yeah. yeah, that should be a 41 right there. Was the sum correct right there? Okay, so that should be a 41. So, yeah, I think it worked it out. Okay, yeah, that should be a 41 right there. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, all right. And if you're in my class, that'll be your assignment right there. Okay, I'm glad you're here.